Chicago police hoping these four-legged security guards are the answer to the rise in violent crime on the CTA. In particular, high-profile attacks on the red line. CBS 2's Megan Hickey at the 95th Street Station as canine security teams begin their patrols. The first focus is here on the red line, where riders are feeling rattled after a series of violent crimes. That second focus will be the blue line because the CTA is acknowledging both the red and the blue line have seen an uptick in crime and, quote, unruly behavior. Literal watchdogs took to the 95th Street station on Friday, and they came with a hefty price tag, but one that many riders say was necessary. The CTA awarded an 18-month contract to Action K-9 valued at $30.9 million. That's for up to 100 unarmed guards and 50 canines a day. So far, the aesthetics alone are putting some riders at ease. When I seen those officers and that K-9, I knew, like, Chicago PD is out here and, you know, they're keeping us safe and they're doing the best that they can. The teams at the 95th Street Red Line Station were deployed less than two hours after a judge ordered no bond for this man, 31-year-old Christian Thompson, charged with first-degree murder for shooting and killing 40-year-old Anthony Binion on August 17th. Prosecutors said Thompson started a fight with Binion at the 69th Street Station around 8.30 that night. Words turned into fatal gunshots. On Friday, CPD said they're also looking to identify these people, seen here in snapshots from surveillance video, responsible for an aggravated battery on August 27th in a red line train car on North State Street just after 12 a.m. If it feels like violent crimes on the CTA are on the rise this year, that's because they are. At this point last year, there were 465 violent crimes reported on the L, compared to nearly 600 during the same period this year. Back at 95th Street, redline riders like this woman, who takes the L back from work late at night, tells me she remembers canine units on the L in the past and doesn't know why they left. Because when they were out, it wasn't no trouble. The CTA declined an on-camera interview, but a representative did confirm that they used to have a contract with the same canine security company about three years ago with good results. We will keep checking in to see if and how it has any impact here on crime on the CTA. At the 95th Street Red Line Station, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Thank you, Megan.